Um, hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing kind of a more casual pregnancy update. <laughs> um, I don't really feel like trying to set up my camera and stuff, so this is a lazy version. But um, Regina's taking her nap right now, so I figured this is a good time to talk about it. Um, I was going to do an update when I was 16 weeks along, but I didn't get around to doing that and now I am 17 weeks and a couple of days so I'm just over 17 weeks this week and so I'm just gonna kinda talk about symptoms that I've been having and some highlights of the past few weeks I'm going from about week 14 up until now so the past three-ish weeks um, sorry Okay, so one thing is that I have my gums bleed. Um, last time I did an update, I think I talked about how my teeth get sensitive, but now like every time I brush my teeth and like spit out, then it's kind of like, sorry, this is like gross, but it's kind of bloody. Um, so my, gl my gums are kind of bleeding and I also get like, bloody noses not to the point where it like runs out of my nose and I have to like catch it but like if I blow my nose or whatever then it's kind of bloody as well so sorry that's TMI but that's kind of what's been going on there and then um the past probably week I've had a little bit of disrupted sleep like not every night but just like probably on average like every other night I'll wake up a couple of times in the night and I am getting really uncomfortable while I'm sleeping like I toss and turn a lot more than I had been before so I was telling James that I think it might be time to break out my pregnancy pillow which he doesn't love because it's huge and it takes up like half of the bed <laughs> but it really does like help me sleep better so I might have to start using that soon um I have been like quite irritable as as well lately and I I feel like that's got to be like due to being pregnant because I don't feel like I'm normally that irritable I hope I'm not but um and it's not necessarily at like James or anything like that sometimes I do get a little more frustrated with Regina easier than I normally do um, but mostly it's like when I'm driving and people are driving stupid and I don't know like random things like that I just get really frustrated by so that is most of like the symptoms that I've had it hasn't been like a ton the second trimester is usually pretty good for me and so um, yeah <clears throat> yeah so this week I went to the doctor I went to the doctor on Tuesday and um, it was a pretty uneventful visit. All they did was listen to the heartbeat and um, check my blood pressure and I think that was it. Yeah, it was like really uneventful. So, I mean, it's always good and like reassuring to listen to the heartbeat. I really like doing that, but um, yeah, it, I was only there for like 15 minutes. So it was really short, um, but the heartbeat sounded good. It was like 147, 148 beats per minute so um, they said that was good and the most exciting thing that's happened recently is that I have been feeling the baby move I thought that I had felt it moving last week but I was like I don't know if it's like too early still to be feeling that so I was like maybe it's just like stomach bubbles or something I don't know but I was like no I swear that's the baby so then at my appointment I asked the doctor like could I be feeling the baby this early? And she's like, yeah, like, um, usually with your second, you can feel it earlier because you kind of know what it feels like and what to expect and stuff. So she's like, yeah, it definitely could have been. And then all this week, I've definitely been feeling the baby move. Like, today even, like, it kicked me a couple of times really hard. Like, like I was not expecting it to be that strong. It almost, like, scared me, scared me because it was, like, very sudden. And anyway, so that's been really good though. It's exciting. I'm always like happy when I feel the baby move because it's just like 
makes it feel more real that I'm actually like pregnant and that we're going to have another baby. So it's exciting. And, um, I really think that that might be it. You guys like this, the past couple weeks haven't been super eventful. So, um, that is it. But I have another doctor appointment in a little less than a month. So, uh, around like mid April. And so that appointment is my big like anatomy scan ultrasound um, where we can like find out the gender and yeah, they like check everything very thoroughly. So I always love that appointment because I feel like that's where, I don't know, the I feel like the information is more solid that you get at that appointment because they do such a thorough job on the ultrasound because it's like the anatomy scan. So I'm excited for that appointment. I think it'll be really fun. Um, and I think that will be the next time that I do an update is right after that appointment. So that'll be, they call it the 20 week appointment, but I will actually be a little over 21 weeks. Um, I was going to go in during the week of my 20 week mark. <laughs> But uh, my doctor is out of town that week, so I had to wait till the next week. But yeah, so I will do another update then. I, I am going to do a video soon about, I'm going to do like a maternity haul video because I am starting to wear my maternity clothes now. They actually are kind of fitting me now. So that's been good and I will do that video soon. And... Yeah, sometime in the next couple weeks. So anyway, that is all that I have for today, and I will see you guys next time.